before I lived here when I lived in Edinburgh. If, if I had visitors, I always brought them up here right. to show them, Ed, to, particularly to show them Ed Edward Tower. It was such a picturesque Ed, Ed Sillery. That was long before I even had dreams of owning it. Uh, so, yeah, so I've, I've always been here. You know, it's, it's within easy distance from Edinburgh, so it was an easy commute, too. It was, it was a good day out, you know. And yeah, I find myself, you know, I've been up here 19 years now. <laughs> this is your place now, then? <laughs> well, it's kind of my place now, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I had a botting company in Edinburgh, an, in, an independent botting company, botting malts and other distilleries. So when I formed that in 1986, it was always my intention or ambition to have a distillery at, at some point. And you know, regular visits up here with customers and that, whatever. And I badgered Pernod Ricard at the time to see if it was for sale. And it wasn't, but they said, oh, keep you in mind. And just, you know, I kept badgering them until eventually they said, OK, look, we don't need it anymore. You know, we're happy to sell it. So, uh, If you can describe roughly or, or briefly what the, what the process is. It's very simple. Three things. Water, barley and yeast. Uh, there's a fourth thing. It's maybe the cask. A very good sherry cask to put it into. And if there was a fifth, maybe... A little bit of my spirit goes into making the spirit, yeah, you know, yeah. so a bit of my passion, with my whatever. We're very busy, yeah, it's been really busy since the start of lockdown, since the start of this pandemic. Things have gone nuts ex export-wise, you know, you can see around the society, there's some stuff going to Latvia, that eventually goes on to Russia, there's something going to Austria, to Uruguay, uh, to Sweden, to Singapore. Uh, there's a lot of stuff at the moment, we have, it's the busiest I've ever, ever seen it. Uh, it really is incredible. Uh, we're also looking to expand our bottling plant here. We're going to build on to the front here and, and another bottling line to cope with demand, what we got there. And we're building to the side here as well to maximise the storage space. You know, during lockdown, this was one of the best places to be up here when we were basically out on, on our own. Mm. We were in our own little bubble. Uh, we seldom saw a person, we seldom saw a car drive past. I felt like that film, the... the Omega Man, where right, there was yeah, one man yeah, left yeah, and nobody man. else there. Yeah, <laughs>